He's best known for his hit show, Malcolm in the Middle. I don't care about anything except making you suffer! Well, I don't care either. Fine, let you care the least the most. <laughs> Now Frankie Munez is trying out the real thing in his new career as a professional race car driver for NASCAR's ARCA series. Frankie, what makes you think you are ready for this? <laughs> um, well, it, it's something I've, I've wanted for a long time. I, I actually did race cars professionally from uh, 2006 into 2010, but I took a long 10, 12 year break and realized I'm not getting any younger. And if I want to reach my goal of racing in NASCAR, now's the time. So uh, here I am, my first day at Daytona, about to get in the car and uh, for testing. And I'm, I'm so excited. First day at Daytona. Now, I have driven around the Daytona track, but I won't give you tips because it's mortifying the <laughs> banks and how fast. This is the ARCA series is a feeder into NASCAR. So how do you prepare? How do you get into the seat where you are right now? Yeah, so so uh, last year when I decided to go back racing, um, I did everything I could to prepare. I started racing late models to get as much stock car, stock car um, experience as possible, raced on ovals, because all the racing I did before was completely different. You know, I compare, I raced open wheel cars before, I compare it like, you know, Olympic diving and Olympic swimming. They both involve swimming pools, but they're different. It's a different sport. So I have a lot to learn, steep learning curve, but I race as many late model races as I could to get experience and learn the race craft. And, uh, you know, I'm really kind of throwing myself off the deep end a little bit, you know, racing in the ARCA series. It's a, it's a very high level of, uh, of, of, of racing in stock cars. And, you know, all my competitors have been doing it for a very long time. But in that sense, you know, I'm, I feel like I'm ready and I'm gonna try my best and, and learn as quickly as possible. Frankie, my dad always quoted Walt Disney. He said, I hope I'll never be afraid to fail. You've achieved so much success with, with television, and now you're dipping your toes in something else. Was that a hard thing for you to do, and why did you do it? You know, in my life, I've always felt like I was, I don't want to say running out of time, but I've, there's so many things I wanted to do in my life, and I've been very fortunate to be able to experience a ton of things. You know, I, I acted, I, I raced cars in the past, I played drums in a band, I've owned businesses. You know, but when I look back and I go, you know, I want to feel like I didn't waste any time and I got to experience all the things I wanted to do and, and reach for my dreams. I had my son 19 months ago and, you know, most people would probably want to slow down once they had a kid. But in my sense, I wanted to have something that he looked at me trying to achieve and reaching that goal and hopefully that motivates him um, when as he grows up and you know I'm, I'm gonna try my best and and that's the thing you know I, I try not to put a lot of pressure on myself obviously I want to be competitive I am competitive I want to win but in that same sense as long as I get out of the car every week and I feel like I gave it my best that's all that I can ask for and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping it's you know with wins and uh, high finishes but we'll, we'll see uh, we'll see uh, next month yeah uh, 20 seconds left how are the other drivers receiving you you know, to be honest, I, I've been pretty surprised by how positive that the uh, reaction has been. You know, I am an outsider, so I, I didn't know what to expect. But, you know, we'll see how they treat me on the track. You know what I mean? I know I've got to earn, earn my stripes, you know, out there as well and earn their respect with my performances. And hopefully I can do that and, and we can all be friends. <laughs> as long as they don't mind losing. Might be a few bumps in there. Uh, <laughs> You know, let's try the new guy out a little bit here. That's right. part of it. That's part of That's it. That's part of it. <laughs> then you know how you get them back. You make them join you on the on the big screen one right. day. Yeah, put him in a movie. That's right. <laughs> Let me win, I'll put you in a movie. <laughs> that's uh, true. Yes, that's true. I, at least I've got that in my back pocket. <laughs> right, you go Frankie, get him. Best we of luck. wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks for thank Pretty you guys. Cool. Pursuing a dream. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.